Monday show. I'm Elise. I'm Parker. We're so glad to be here. Oh, Elise, how are you? I am starving. I am so hungry. I haven't eaten like since dinner last night, oh which I guess is pretty normal, but I, it's still, I'm hungry. Really I'm hard. starving too. I spent the whole weekend at my grandparents' house. So oh, then when I came back home, they didn't give me as much candy as my grandparents oh, do. So I'm kind of really shame. hungry. Yeah, but well, there happens to be a nice little plate of pastries there. I guess someone left these for us. Did you I put guess they up? did. I didn't, but I I'm really either. excited to eat them because I'm starving. I am too. So, well, let's dig in. Is well, it, we, um, I mean, usually at my house, we always like pray before yeah, we eat. So yeah, we, we, yeah, we bless do too. The food. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's, try, let's pray. Let's pray. Bless right, the food. Right. Okay. I mean, go ahead. I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I mean, I, I don't... It was your my, idea. Well, my dad always says the blessing. I don't know what to say. But... I mean, we can't eat without blessing the food. I'm starving. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, I know who can help us. It's Bible story time. Oh. Hey, guys. I'm so excited to tell the story for you today. But first, I have a question. Have you ever thought, is there a right and a wrong way to pray? I think that... Sometimes that's how it feels, right? Like, I'm sure most of us have prayed that prayer before dinner, and that seems simple because we know exactly what to say. But then when our grandma asks us to pray, that's a lot scarier. That totally freaks some of us out, right? Well, I'm hoping today that this will help a little bit. We're going to look at a scripture in Luke. Um, it's actually Luke chapter 11, 1 through 4. I want to read it for you. Are you ready? Okay, it goes like this. One day, Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Most of us have probably heard that passage before, right? A lot of people refer to that as the Lord's Prayer. Well, it's really cool because Jesus intended for that to be like a little template to make prayer easy. Because back in Bible times, prayer wasn't as easy as it is now. Because before Jesus died on the cross, prayer was a lot more complicated. And prayer took a lot more work. A lot of people, they just had to go and there were sacrifices and rituals and they had to face a certain direction. But Jesus made prayer easy. Jesus made talking to God easy. So we're going to break down this passage in scripture. That first part says that Jesus tells them to do. It says, Father, hallowed be your name. So this is the first picture we're going to use to represent our prayer. So, Father, hallowed be your name. That means that the first thing you're going to do is you're going to address who you're praying to. So you could say, dear Lord or dear God, thank you for your goodness. Those are things that you could start with. <clears throat> then the next part of our verses says this. It says, your kingdom come, right? Your kingdom come. And that's going to be represented by this heart because... Your kingdom come means as earth as it is in heaven, right? Heaven is a lot different than earth. Heaven is kindness and love, serving others before you serve yourself. But that's not how earth looks. But that's what our prayer is. Our prayer is that earth can look more like heaven. The next part of these verses that we're going to talk about says this. It says, give us each day our daily bread. So, of course, our picture is a loaf of bread. But Jesus isn't necessarily just talking about bread. He's talking about those things that you need daily. So, maybe this week that's your math test that's coming up. Or maybe it's that God can help you remember those lines at play practice. Right? That's what the daily bread represents. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is this. It's the next part of our verse. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. That's this picture. Man, this is a hard one. Jesus is asking for us to ask for forgiveness from God first and not to judge other people. 
Jesus is saying that once God forgives us and we've asked him to forgive us of our sins, it's a whole lot easier to forgive others and pour that forgiveness out on them. That's what this part of our prayer is about. And then this last part, the last little snippet of our verses, it says, and lead us not into temptation. And that picture is this plate of cookies. God can't stop us from doing the things we shouldn't do. He can just encourage us not to do it. He can't put his hand over our mouths when we're about to say something mean to someone. And he can't pluck our phone out of our hands when we're about to make a bad decision. That's why we have the Holy Spirit when we accept Jesus into our hearts. That's why the Holy Spirit nudges us along and encourages us not to do those things that are sinful. <clears throat> so let's read through our verse one last time. Are you ready? The first part that Jesus says is, Father, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. That's it. It's that simple. Jesus gave us this template to make prayer simple and easier than it was before. And now maybe it'll be simple and easier for you too. Thanks guys. I hope that helps. Wow. That was a great story. Yeah. And I mean, I think it kind of answers our question today. How do we pray? Yeah. I mean, you pray by just talking to God as if he were here and being honest and, uh, you know, just saying what you mean and being earnest. Oh, you know, that's my grandpa's name, but we call him Grandpa Ernie. Okay, that's not what I meant. Being genuine and, and really oh, speaking okay. from your heart. Like, uh, like I'm really grateful for our, our food today. Yeah, and I'm grateful that I get to be here with you today. You know what? Maybe we should try this thing out. Yeah, let's try it. All right. <laughs> Dear God, thank you for being so awesome and so amazing. And thank you for these muffins and pastries that you've given us. And please help my Grandpa Ernie to stop snoring so loud. That's not what, I, what? You said be honest and earnest. Oh, okay. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Wow. We did it. We did it. Awesome. <laughs> that felt really good. All right. Well, hey, how about you guys try it? And we'll see you next time on the Sunday Fun Day Show. Show. See you later.